What's going on guys? This is KDK Kiel Dyken. I uh, want to knock out this quick review for all of you today. A few days ago, someone asked me, how exactly do you set up your PlayStation 2 controllers uh, directly with RetroPie? Now, I know all of this is brand new for many of you. I will be speaking on this topic in the next coming days. In fact, uh, today's Friday. I will have several videos up before this weekend because we all know the Raspberry Pi 5 is coming out. And many of you are anticipating PlayStation 2 emulation. I know there's not a lot of videos on Asterix right now uh, in terms of setup, but uh, someone asked me, how do you set up your controllers for PlayStation 2? I set it up in RetroArch, but nothing ever uh, worked, you know. So basically, you know, when you guys start signing in to RetroPie, you set up your controllers. However, uh, RetroPie or RetroArch does not talk to or communicate with this individual emulator. So I'm gonna show you how to set up your controls for the PlayStation 2 emulator. Uh, this will work on the Orange Pi 5. This is what I'm using. This is Pi Resurrection. This is, is the most powerful RetroPie image that is out there. And I know many of you will be waiting for your Raspberry Pi 5 in terms of development. So uh, you will need your basic controller, whatever type of controller you definitely wanna use. And you will need to use a keyboard in order to navigate directly to your options so let's go to ps2 already have an emulator uh, no, i'm sorry not an emulator but i already have my controls and everything set up but i'm going to walk this through with you i have a basic wireless keypad or any keyboard will also work too i have the uh kind that you get on amazon for like 20 bucks which has the built-in mouse navigated in so we're going to use that to kind of scroll around and so for those of you who are arcade modders out there, uh, for future reference, uh, basically because of some of the cloud gaming aspects and also PlayStation 2, you may wanna start including some type of mouse touchpad uh, built in so that way you can kind of navigate around. All right, I have my Xbox Elite Controller 2 uh, hooked up to my Orange Pi 5, but again, this will work with either uh, Raspberry Pi 5 or this will also work with your PC if you already have that type of setup. So let's go ahead and go to system. I'm gonna go up here and then we're gonna go to settings and then we are gonna go to controllers. You get this nice interface here. We're gonna take a look down here where it says controller port one uh, DualShock. So uh, that's what is registered right now. That's what my controller is showing up as. And this is really simple. There's not a lot of rocket science to it. So for those of you who are familiar with all of your controls, let's go ahead and select left. So we have, the, this is the entire controller layout. You guys are familiar with your PlayStation controllers. You got your square, X, O, every, triangle. Everything's lap, uh, laid out here. So you're just gonna use your mouse to move around and navigate to the option that you want. So let's go ahead and click on this. I'm gonna hit left on my Xbox controller. That's on the D-pad now. Right. So like that, you can see it changing. Now I'm moving around with my mouse. So let's go ahead and select that. Up on the D-pad and then down on the Xbox uh, D-pad. So uh, let's go ahead now and move to analog, which is going to be the circular option. You guys all know what the, anal uh, the analog joystick is on the left side. We're just gonna hit left up. Let's go down. It doesn't matter what order you do this in. We're just going to quickly walk through this and go left on the left joy pad of your controller, right? L3. Now we're going to press in on the left button. You can see there is a left stick there. And now let's move on over to the right button. Again, you don't have to do this in any particular order. That was me pressing in on the right stick. And now let's go ahead and set up the right stick, which is gonna be this option right here on my controller. Again, I'm using an Xbox controller, not a PlayStation controller. The readouts are all still the same. So let's go ahead and hit left, up, right, and down. And of course, if you have an arcade set up, your buttons will register this way as two. Uh, two. Just make sure that your encoder is readable uh, with your Raspberry Pi or your Orange Pi. So let's go ahead and select face buttons here. So we're now going to be working on these four buttons right here. So the cross is gonna be my A button on the controller, square, 
circle is going to be my B button. The triangle button is now going to be the Y. So we've already taken care of that. Uh, R1 is going to be the top button up here. Oops, let me make sure I did that right. Oh, there we go. Uh, the start button, you know where to find the start button. Select L1, that's going to be the button up here. L2 and right two, those are going to be your triggers on the back of the controller. And then, of course, you can add in uh, particular ma macros if you guys want to do that. We're not going to get into that today. So we'll take a look at some of the settings. You can also invert your controller. So if you want your down to be up or your up to be down or you want your left to be right or want your right to be left, uh, this is where you would adjust your inverted settings. I'm not going to touch any of this. Mine are perfectly fine. You can also adjust your analog sensitivity vibration. Uh, you can have the uh, motor vibration either small or big on here. I don't recommend changing any of these. For me, they're personally fine. And then just to give you an idea about your macros. Now, if you guys have watched some of my Chrono Zen, Chronos Max, Titan 2 type videos where you're using those game controller adapters, this emulator has it built in, which is a really phenomenal thing that they've added. So... Uh, you guys are familiar with hotkeys and whatnot with some of the gaming keyboards and mouses that gives you this option uh, built in here. And then of course, if you want to have an additional controller here too, you could go ahead and set that up. So right now we're already set. Let's go ahead and close this out. I don't have any games on here, but pretty much that is how you set up your controls uh, for your PlayStation 2 for your games. So if you guys have any more questions in regards to this, keep in mind RetroArch does not talk to this specific emulator. It's his own standalone thing, and it is built into RetroArch. Uh, but keep in mind, uh, this is pretty fun, and uh, there are some additional optimizations you can do to get some of these games to run better. But I hope you found this tutorial quite helpful. I will be back with a lot more Raspberry Pi and Orange Pi tutorials. But make sure you like and subscribe. I'll catch you all later. Peace out. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think below, and I will see you next time.